Trotto stan man man ya rapa amani hastam and does it turn the rhyme as I promised you in my last reaction I would react on Sirvan Khosravi again and it's his song Bon Bust which means translated dead and and here are the comments that led me to the song. So many of you wanted me to go for this song, and especially by Sirvan. It's Life in Tehran from 2020. He's a pop singer. This got released three years ago, three to four years ago. And we have subtitles. We actually have lyrics. That's absolutely great. Here we are. Let's start and see what Sirvan got for us after the intro. <laughs> Packe sie in Worte, zerschmettert deine Leiste, funktioniert nach keinem Pasta. Let's go. This is on a rooftop, like for real? This is actually on a rooftop. Some melodic pop rock sounds like that. Okay. Wait a second. I want to pause real quick because uh, I want to go for the lyrics. This is like my main point right here. I think the music itself is simple pop rock. That was a verse. Now it's probably the bridge or the hook. I'm not sure if it's the bridge or the hook now, but it's pretty simple from the structure. It's pretty simple from the melodies, from the chords, everything. Um, but the lyrics a little bit different. This is not. This is not a love song or or very simple song. It kind of tells a personal struggle, I think, with going his own path and the people you meet on your path and um, how you deal with these people to achieve your goal. Like this is how it seems a little bit. We had aimlessness in the lyrics as well. Um, every hand I'm dealt is a losing hand, right? So he kind of sues the people he's he's confronted with, right? Um, signs say dead end on every street. It's very dramatic, this right here. Dead end on every street. That's a nice picture as well because there's a, there's a traffic sign that says dead end. And he means like these signs show dead end on every street. Every street is a dead end. Very dramatic right here. Mirrors tell me who I'm facing. It makes me sick. This is aimlessness. Okay, let's uh, jump right into the next part and see what we got right there. Like, the thing is, I'm not even stunned so much, like, by the vocals itself right now. Of course, you hear the sound is nice mixed. We got we got a nice uh, video. We got a nice scenery. We have him singing really flawless, um, nice vocals. But what, me, what me really got me right here at this point was in the lyrics. I'm staring at the sun my whole life and I was like, wait a second, what is, what is it supposed to mean? Does it mean I'm blind my whole life? And in the next sign, in the next line it says, but it's always behind dark clouds. So he left the solution like he, he showed afterwards what he meant by that, that the light at the end of the tunnel 
basically is always covered with clouds. Okay, um, I love this Persian. I mean, it's not poetry. It, kind of, it's poetry. L lyricism in 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 Iran is so great, man. Honestly. Okay, we have Servan right here. That was that was pretty pretty nice how he sang right here in the end of the hook. We have him getting very emotional on this. There's a lot of feelings in yourself because we have we all know this daily struggle. We all know this daily struggle to achieve anything, you know, to achieve anything. And there's always things and people who who put in barricades and borders in front of us and we have to overcome them and i kind of feel like this this pain connected with these this pressure to overcome all these uh, uh obstacles is kind of in the emotions of this song uh it makes so much sense <laughs> Oh, that's uh, that's the bridge. I think what is very obvious when we look at the music itself that the band is playing 100% for the sake of Sirvan that he can perform free and shine in the performance like the band is really making background music so to speak right it's not like there's no freaking tones uh, some some crazy stuff going on in the background music it's but still it's nice that you have uh, him as a singer has like a band that is natural right that is not from the tape and that is pretty cool um it's grounded right i th i always feel like when when i see singers who perform with the band it seems more grounded better like that Oh, okay. It kind of fits, but I re didn't really expect it. But we have a guitar solo. But it plays when he's not singing. So it makes a lot of sense. He's the star of the show. Okay. Pretty short guitar solo. I think there were maybe 12 bars. I think it were 12 bars, not more.
This last scream at the end of Harry Every Hook was so precious. I think we're gonna listen to this again because I feel like there's the most intense energy in the whole song when he screams the no at the end of the hook. The other thing I want to say about the lyrics in general, um, it's very relatable. I feel like the, everything he's he's talking about is very relatable. It feels like almost like he's talking from my perspective, right? And I think most people can relate to this. Such a strong voice, man. Hmm. Actually, we have an end screen, but it seems to be cut off, right? Yeah, it seems to be cut off. Music producer, so Silvan Khosravi is the music producer as well. By the way, because I didn't do it uh, in this case, um, I wanted to go for it um, in the end of the right reaction i wanted to go for his biography let's see we can we, we find him on wikipedia for example born in 1982 okay that means he's older than i expected actually he looks pretty young in these performances he rose to fame in 2005 already this is i think 2006 youtube started so basically he rose to fame before YouTube started. He he has produced music for various artists. Okay, so it seems like he started off as a producer and became like not well known as a singer later on. Mm, born in Tehran, he's Persian. That is what I almost expected. Mm, started learning the keyboard at age of eleven. At sixteen, he took some lessons with Kave Yakmai, who became his mentor. All right. I mean, we don't have to go for his whole biography, but we can see, look at this. These are his releases. Th this, These are the singles alone. The these right here are the singles alone. Look at, wow, man. Okay, he got seven albums that are released. He got a legacy right there. If you want to check out some of my own music, you can do this right here. It's a song of myself, a rap song, very important to turn on subtitles because the lyrics are very important in the song. Thank you very much if you do so. Right above, you can find my first reaction on Sirvan Khosravi on this channel. Mm, maybe you want to see that. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook if you want to. And I'm out.